All right. Guys. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Acura Honda Classic Podcast number 15. That's right. Are you That's sure? Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds, sounds good. It sounds great. Right. So what we want to do with our podcast, we want to actually make them a podcast. We want to focus on you know interviews and stories and, and, and learn about people. And last week I wasn't here, but I got to watch it, and so cool. The, the whole story from RJ. So today we have a special guest, and it's, and it's next John. All right. We're going to talk about him in a second. All right. We got Diaz back. He's Welcome feeling good. Back, Diaz. That really is looking him. beautiful, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> he's got the hair, man. Dre, you all know Dre? What's up, Dre? And John, of course. Hi. And myself. So, yeah, sticking to the podcast, man, we just want to hear your story, John, um, where you came from. We we got a hint that you got an Integra, you got an NSX. <laughs> I know there's a story that you got to that point. So yeah. tell us, like, how long ago did this start? Was your passion always in the Hondas? When did this all start? Man, it started all back in... Uh Back in the days, you know, whenever the Fast and the Furious day, like, oh. phase that everyone um, you know, went through, um, I've always really been into cars my whole life. Yeah. And um, but that I think once that movie came out is whenever it sparked it. Yeah. But before that, my my brother he was also heavily into cars. He was okay. Older brother. My, my oldest brother. Okay. And um, and that always influenced me and motivated me to uh, to work hard and make sure that I'm willing. Uh, he, he taught me that, like, if you can work hard, you can get any car that right. you really want. So when did you start driving? High school? I started driving when I was 15 years old. 15? Oh, man. Oh, man. man. Went into high school. I, I couldn't get the car I wanted for my first car. Which was uh, that? What was I that? Hand me down. Okay. What was <laughs> that? that? What was, was, uh, was it? My hand me down was a cord. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was yours. I had like a like an old GMC uh, Jimmy. Oh, Ooh. that? Yeah, 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 you know what? A Jimmy in high school would be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that, but then immediately right after that, I, I got my first Honda Civic. All right, so did you choose to get a Honda Civic because it could fit underneath the trailer? Like <laughs> <someone already? laughs> what, why Honda Civic? Was it just a car that was cheap, or did you see modifications that you could do? What was it? What well, year was it? Do you remember? Yeah, the car was uh, was an 07. Uh-huh. It was a Civic EX uh, Coupe, uh-huh. uh, black. I had the HFP uh, underbody spoiler all around. Oh, yeah. um, I had the HFP wheels. Oh, man. Yeah. From back in the 16s or 17s? There were 17s. Oh, yeah. Was was the new, there was the bronze color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. new car? Huh? New car? It was, a, it was a new car. So you went to the dealership. I went to the dealership and got it. And, and ordered all the parts. And right there, you ordered yeah. all. Now, I remember at the time, HFP had. A spring kit and only and a muffler kit and a muffler yeah, yeah, and yeah, only yeah. lowered like an inch though I think it was even yeah so did you load did you purchase that as well I didn't go with the HFP okay. kit though unfortunately oh. I went with the Tians okay the Ooh. Tech Loring Springs at the time nice and I went with the Gretty Evo two oh uh, man half back spoiler I like that now was that a manual or it was automatic <laughs> <laughs> we all have a start yeah, one point uh, one point eight liter I believe yeah. right one point eight um, I think it's a an R18 motor? R18, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, just like my daily out there. So, yeah, yeah, the same motor. Uh, I didn't do any any other modifications to it because I knew that a car like that, it just wasn't going to be fast enough. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the car got totaled on the highway. Oh, right. What happened? The, the car uh, hydroplaned. Um, oh, yeah, man. Um, car got totaled, and then uh, luckily I was good. You know, yeah. I, I walked out with no scratches, no bruises. Yeah. Um, waited a couple months after. And I bought another Civic. So same one or uh, a four door uh, SI 09. Oh, oh that's five. I yeah. did five. So you were looking at that. You were like thinking, I'm gonna do an upgrade yeah. from here. You know, yeah. but you like the Civics enough and the Honda world that you just want to stay there. Yeah. Yeah. Your brother has one of those, right? Yeah, black one. Nice. Oh man. So yeah, what did you really do nice. with that car? That car I modified it a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I also had the HFP underbody spoiler all the way around. Yeah. Uh, I bought, I had um, the same exhaust. I took it off my old car, put it on on that car. Mm-hmm. Just added a two-inch adapter that I needed. And then, yeah. um, I had the TL Type S waffle wheels on there. Oh, nice. Nice. So I did a little bit. Those are my favorite wheels. Those are my favorite yeah. factory yeah. wheels. Yeah. What, what color was yeah. your car? The car was blue. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But it was, was it Fiji blue or was it the other blue? 
it was the other blue. Oh, okay. It was like um, a dino. I think it was called dino something. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Had a little hint of green to it when it okay. was shining on it. Yeah. It was a really interesting color. Yeah. So how long did you have that car for? That car, I only had it for like two years. Okay. And then at that time, I had I had to trade in the car um, because I needed a, um, a pickup truck. Okay. So I traded the car in and I got myself a pickup truck. All right. So then you were kind of out of the Taco. Well, not, not the one that I have now. Uh, I had an older Taco. All right. So you got back to your high school days, kind of. That was like after high school. So yeah. I think we want to know how did you become NSX Jones? Because there was a whole thing that led up to that. <laughs> yeah. I've heard a little bit of the story. Of yeah. That. I know that, involved a lot of hard Yeah. Work. We want to know yeah, dude, building yeah. up, moving on yeah. from that Civic. Yeah. Where'd you move from there after that truck? Well, I, I, uh, I sacrificed. My my Honda love by getting myself a truck, right? Because I, I needed it for work. Uh huh. Um, and uh, you know, after working for a couple years, about like a good five seven years after, was whenever I decided to get back into the Honda game and I started buying a Honda. Um, the first car I bought right after was a, a Honda S two thousand. Oh, Ooh. I had that for a couple months. Uh, it was a Sebring Silver with full red interior. Oh, nice. It was a beautiful car. Uh, AP2, bought it AP1. AP1. Yeah. Bought it locally. Um, bought that car cash. Yeah. Off, right. And then I started slightly modifying that car a little bit. I bought the hardtop. Uh, drove to Tampa to pick it up. Yeah. That's exciting. All the, yeah. That was, yeah, that was exciting. Like yeah. That. Um, yeah, that was at the time whenever the hardtops weren't as expensive as, yeah. as they are now. It's <laughs> old right now. Now that come painted or you had to get it painted or? That was already factory painted to match the car. Oh, oh so I, was, I, was, I got lucky with that to find it the same color as the car. Now, sorry for my ignorance, does it come OEM hardtop? That's an OEM, the one he got is an OEM, right? OEM option. OEM option, option so you yeah. can't have it. Okay. But there are a few different other ones that, that are okay. on market too. Okay, I, yeah, I've seen aftermarket, the quality probably doesn't you know, match up as much. So, yeah. so you got that, you sold, you sold that quick. I only had that for a couple months. Wow. And then I ended up buying my first NSX. All right. And that car. First yeah, NSX was what? Was one. It was an 03 Silverstone. Okay. NSX. On silver interior. On silver interior. That's really. Yeah, silver on silver, which yeah. is so that's uh, a rarity. I think, I think 40, no, I think that one they made a little bit more, like around 80 something. Uh huh. They made they made more of that color combo than any other color combos. All the models, color and interior, they're all counted for. Them. Okay. So okay. You can kind of figure out how many, how rare your NSX is for that year. Yeah. So your passion started with that NSX because obviously that NSX started to hit you in some sort of way that you love this car. Yes. Yes. You definitely. Know? The NSX is is nothing is not like any other car. Uh -huh. It's a timeless looking car. A car will never go out of style and a car that would always uh, also hold value. So it's also a good investment too. But at the same time, a very fun car to drive. Do you think that car was ahead of itself when it was released, like the styling, the way it was designed? Was it ahead? Because I look at that car now and I still see it new and sleek, like a design that almost would be around today, is what you're saying. I mean, yeah. heck, that, that buy style was basically the same car yeah. from 91 all the way up to 05. Yeah. I mean, tweaks, body tweaks, but yeah. the, the chassis, yeah. yeah. So that car you had, and then you eventually. Oh, he modified that one pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I modified <laughs> that one. I modified, but that was like the, that was the last time I was gonna start modifying. Like I decided that I wasn't gonna modify heavily that car anymore. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I had a wrapped in white. I uh, that wrap was so that? good. Yeah. That everyone thought the car was white. Nice. Every and when you took the wrap off, because the car showed up wrapped. You didn't bring it out <laughs> like that. I didn't even know door jams, <laughs> everything. Yeah, and, and, and if anyone knows anyone wraps, it's very tedious, and you need to remove a lot of stuff oh, to get yeah. it in there. And you can fool some people. You can actually think it's painted. If it's when you open a door jams, oh, all the yeah. seals go over the wrap, and mm -hmm. that, you know that's they a lot. Even of, cut it out around the yeah. uh, vent decals and all that. And that's back when wraps were kind of fairly new, no? Yeah. Like there wasn't a lot of people in the game, you know. I guess you know, and uh, so that was your first NSX. You had that. Now, was, at that time, was the new NSX released yet? Uh, eventually. Eventually, it was. But, but before that, I had purchased um, a JDM Integra, Honda Integra. Oh, okay. okay. Do you remember that one, John? A black, a black JDM Honda Right-hand drive, JDM wow. from 99. 
And believe it or not, it had this exhaust on the back of it, the Mugen Twin Loop. I remember that car. Yeah. That was a really cool car. Black Ricardo seats. Before the silver insects or after? During. It was during. Did you find it locally? Um, it came from Orlando. So you, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I just had it transported down here. And okay. uh, I enjoyed it for a while, but unfortunately during that time I had to sell it because I, I just, I, I didn't have the proper place to, to store it. At. Right, right, right. And you don't want it to get something to happen, you know. Exactly. You don't want to but these cars nowadays, you need to have, think about that ahead yeah. of time, yeah. yeah. You can't have a car like that without thinking about a good yeah. storage or a good right. price. So from that NSX the one you have wrapped white, like, did you sell it like that or did you did you um <coughs> so I pulled off all the wrap, I put everything back to stock, uh -huh. sold it, um, found out that the car went overseas. Oh wow. So it's it's long gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Someone overseas bought it. Um <coughs> and then um but while I had the car after I sold the Honda Integra was when I bought the twenty seventeen NSX. Okay. I remember that day. He told me I'm buying an NSX. Yeah. I'm like, well, oh, but you have one. He's like, no, I'm buying God, the, the new, the, yeah. the new NSX. You got made up in your mind that you wanted it, yeah. and oh, then yeah. you got it over yeah, from yeah. Rick Case, right? I got it. Well, it was it's actually neat. It you was hear the, this. It was the uh, yeah. Tell us about it. So the the car wasn't. It was practically brand new uh, when I got it. Had a hundred miles. Wow. But the person that I bought the car from, uh, he was the pilot for Rick Case. His, pilot. His private, yeah, pilot. Their personal private pilot. Rita and Rick Case. Because yeah. they got a jet. Yeah, they have a jet, yeah. so, and he flies their, their jets and takes them to personal okay. locations. So he originally purchased the car. He bought it, and he was he was one of the original owners that had, that had paid for the car uh -huh. uh, and signed up for it. Oh, like pre-ordered it? And pre-ordered it back okay. in, like 20, in 2012 when that NFL commercial came out. Uh -huh. Oh, with uh, um, Jerry Seinfeld? Yes. That yeah. One. That was a pretty cool commercial. So it came out there the Super Bowl, the commercial? Yeah. That they were going to release the NSX? Yeah. And how, that was the he, first uh, publicized... Uh, in 2012. In 2012. And, he and that, that was with a different drivetrain. That was with oh. the V10 naturally aspirated, yeah. I believe. Wow. Uh, and he waited that long. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Okay. So anyways, uh, so you, you, got, you got the car, and then when you purchased the car, um, practically brand new. Yeah. And... Um, what was your envision for this? My envision was to keep it as long as I can. Yeah. <laughs> and because I, first of all, it, it was it was like a dream come true to me. Right. You know what I mean? To be in that car and that feeling was was just unreal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being just sitting and just driving it out the dealership is a is a, a memory I don't think I'm ever gonna forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it just made me realize that you know, with with hard work, you can actually get anything that you really want. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, I agree. Yeah, um, and I realized that at that moment, when I, whenever I was driving out of the dealership, yeah, it's just a, a time in your life that you just never forget. Yeah. So, exactly. so at that point, you still had the the older NSX, or it was already gone when you had that. Um, when I had that that car, it was in that process. Where right. It was, I was getting rid of it. Okay. So I had both of them at one point. Right. But shortly after, I don't remember. I remember that's probably long. not even long. I think it was even on um, at oh, that like at that dealership. You got the grayish one. Was that the one that was wrapped? What, yes, that was the one. So I only saw it after the fact. Yeah, I think you saw it briefly after. That. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then, tell us about that beautiful blue mm. NSX. Blue. I one of my favorite. God, I've never seen a car so immaculate, and I don't think it's ever been painted. I don't believe so. Because it is it so looks, straight. It looks beautiful. And the factory peel, you can tell it's got a little bit of that chunkiness factory peel. That's his part. You yeah. Know, the paint, the paint <laughs> is his part. If you yeah. look down that car from the side when it's on the lift in the shop, you can see how beautiful it is. And the color in the, with the lighting in here. Really it is, shows it is amazing. One of my favorites. So how did you find that in that condition? Well, that And car, why even go back that way? Yeah. yeah um, well, after I got rid of the car, I realized um, how much love I had from the original NSX. Because the original NSX, it has, it's a, it's a, the car is like a legacy car, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it has a lot of, uh, it symbolizes a lot of different, right. um, uh, a lot of different things, and it has a lot of history and the feeling behind it. Right. Um, and I miss that, that feeling of driving that car. It's yeah. a driver's car. Yeah. Time capsule, right? Yeah. Time capsule. It takes you back into that period or whenever that car was released. 
and um, and understand that technology around that time. Yeah. The other thing I really like is you went with a neat model because mm -hmm. it's the first um, introduction of the NA2 with the new drivetrain, the 3.2 six speed, but still the pop up headlights. So yeah. your other car was the fixed headlights. Exactly. So you went. Back my style, you know. Yeah. Old, old it goes back and forth. Do you like the pop up or do you yeah. not? You can leave a comment yeah. if you. Yeah. 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 you like. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Like, everyone yeah. has their own opinion on uh, what the I know someone that used to have pop up headlines. Yeah, someone yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. I, don't yeah, I don't know. Maybe you'll see it the next actor on the class. When's that? August 11th. August 11th. Which, we'll, which we'll get into that. But yeah, so yeah, so you have the two, and then tell us about the last car that you recently just picked up. That oh. it's kind of like a twin to Packer on a classic. But the, 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 the blue and the sex, where did you find that? Where did that come yeah, from? Where, where did that where come from? That's, oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. So that was a private sale. Uh -huh. um, so on the did second you, gen, did you hunt for it? Or did you like, yeah. Not really, it kind of just appeared. Well, you and you had, you had a couple cars on, on the list. <laughs> I remember you were going back and forth. Yeah, it was between the blue one or a, or a white one, but it was that same year. Yeah. Same yeah. color. Was a Florida car or you got the oh, no. came from Minnesota. Wow. wow. It must have been in the garage in Minnesota because I don't yeah. see any rust on it. Yeah. It must have not been driven. Low miles? Low miles, thirty thousand miles. Yeah. yeah. I can you can older, definitely older, tell. Older guy? Someone, just a little older. You know, um, yeah. but anyways the um, so in, in a second gen owners group on Facebook uh -huh. NSX. Somebody posted a picture, just one simple picture of a car saying, look, my buddy, my next door neighbor is selling this blue and it sucks. In case anyone here is looking, looking for it. That's all it took. <laughs> I think my phone rang uh, oh. 10 minutes later. What do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I, I like it. <laughs> and so, you have to, if you can, you have to capitalize on that. Yeah, because once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. And for the true enthusiast that really loves NSXs, I think you made the right decision. Yes, did, did he yeah. fly there or did he? Did he no, I, I didn't fly. It was sight unseen, but but the seller he sent me like a 4K video and several pictures, man. Kind of like what you see on like Ring a Trailer. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He sent me all the pictures that I needed, um, especially like the little areas that he was um, that he told me would had a little bit of wear. Like yeah, that'd be honest. Side holster, like I like that part because little. now you know. Yeah. You're not surprised by it. So that car came down in a container, uh, container? on a, no, a, a closed like tractor. A single car, <coughs> uh, like trailer. Oh, a single car. Single car. Was yeah. it covered or? Yeah, it was all covered. It was all covered. I mean, was that the trailer yeah. covered? Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah so just one car on the way just over here. One. So, so it, was, it was a straight shot from Minnesota over here. God. So when, when that back is opened up and you see that car coming, you're like, oh my God, I have yeah. videos of, <laughs> <laughs> of just like the yeah. first impression. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's not the only car that you got. The last oh, yeah. car that you got was a little bit further away mm -hmm. and it's in very good condition as well. Tell us about that one. Uh, it's a, this really makes a nice collection. Yeah. <laughs> Something that looks like that. Yeah, it looks just like that. Yeah. Uh, just the, uh, the USDM version of it. So it was a 1998 uh, Acura Integra yeah. in white. Type uh, R. Type R. Championship type white. Um, and an HO. And HO. Yeah. Yeah. And you got some new modifications. Do you want to talk about it or no? Yeah. I, I mean, you can talk about it, but yeah. you can only see it. Hopefully at the next meet we'll have it over there. Yeah, it'll definitely gonna be in the next meet. Yeah. So when is that? August eleventh. August eleventh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, August eleventh. You know, I think that a lot more people are getting hungry for these meets because you know we're now doing it on the Sundays, which we expect a big, big, big turnout. So August eleventh, from eight o'clock to about eleven thirty, uh, we're gonna be having our next uh, meet. And if you have any comments, questions, yeah, just ahead. just please, we want to interact with you guys. John, you got something? Question. Yeah. For NSX, John, do you miss the JDM ITR? Yeah, I do. Man. <laughs> I think you let it go I too soon. soon man. I let it go too soon. I didn't enjoy it as much as yeah. I wish I would have. But I, it, I wish I, I had it now, especially now that I have the the white Integra and just and just play with both of them. You know what I mean? Driving right hand on the right hand side of the car is, is very different. And the experience that, that you get the first time driving it feels like the first time you're ever driving a car. Feels like, it took me back like if I was 14 again, driving the car. Learning everything. Learning over. everything all over, exactly. You get a lot of people to look at you as when, when you drive a right-handed car. 
I can't try that. Uh, I think like like couple people have. Like I'm um, what? Yeah, 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 I think so if they don't look over there, you don't looks. notice it. It's weird though, like when you're in traffic and you're looking at the person right next to you because they're a left-hand driver, you're a right-hand driver. You know what freaks me out? I drove it. I drove it one time over here, and you're driving, and you're always used to having the space on the right side. Right, right. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, there's you look over to the left. There's a whole scene over there, and you're like, <laughs> oh, oh my god, what is going out. on over yeah. there? Yeah. I'm excited yeah. for that. I'm it, it's, it, oh, he has a right-hand drive car. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Have, have, you, have you driven it yet? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, not, 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 not driven, driven. No. <laughs> Push. <laughs> <laughs> what do you prefer? JDM or USDM? USDM. As Why? far as the front end? And as, Why? Uh, um, you know, USDM because um, the USDM is not like the cars in Japan. Like the cars that come from Japan, you don't have like a history record of it, unlike the cars here. Here you can you can pull up the VIN number, you can pull up the Carfax, and you can find out anything about the car previous to that. Yeah. But it, a, a JDM car, the moment it gets here, it's, that's it. Like you're getting it like like how it is. You don't know you like you don't know any previous. You got to guess. You have to yeah. guess. You have to do your own inspection. So you got to so start like, your maintenance like, over from scratch. You like the originality. You know, like you can find the history and the kind of story yeah. behind the car. Exactly. That's nice. It has the history on it. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, there's no car facts in Japan, as far as yeah, I know. No, no, no. <laughs> so, man, what an awesome story, man. Hopefully, we'll have your cars here for the for the meet. What August, is that? August 11th. All right. Here <laughs> at Acura Power and Pines. I mean, everyone's been loving it. Um, we had such a good turnout. We got such a big raffle, as yeah. well. So, what's up? We didn't. We didn't go back. So the NSX John, who gave you that name, was it something you came up with or somebody? Um, it, it was a name that I, I just put together. Um, Cause your name's John. Cause my name is John. <laughs> <laughs> and you try to get out of the NSX, so I'm like, hey, it works, right? You gotta use the NSX John for the rest of your life, man. Simple, like straight to the point. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. When you don't have NSX, it's gonna be really awkward. <laughs> Yeah, I just keep going. I gotta keep going. Or a model. Yeah. Do a little toy. I'm probably go off to go off a little bit, but thinking back a little bit, you said the hard work. You know, if you don't mind, what do you do for work? Uh, so I I I'm into the real estate uh world, and uh within that I do different aspects within the real estate world. So a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work, and it's yeah, it depends. It depends on. Like the outcome, it depends on, on how much input you put in there. So I mean, like if, if you put in a, bear, a lot of hard work, you're gonna see that outcome. Yeah. And I like that you're enjoying yourself because you only live once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you make good decisions with your money and have fun with it. Mm-hmm. And it's, um, you seem to have started this whole thing off pretty young in your life too. So that's, that's yeah. a good thing to Good for you, good for you, yeah, that's you, awesome. Thank you, appreciate it. So yeah, if, um, if you haven't, joined us or know about Acura Honda Classic if you're still new or you're just subscribing and all that stuff. We're we're a group of guys that are passionate about our Acura and Hondas and this is all sponsored by Acura Power Pines and every we have quarterly meets. We're we'll do about five a year, I would say. Oh uh, bi monthly, I think we're bi monthly, every two months. Yeah. We get a group of guys together. Sunday morning we let you know guys know the date. August eleventh is our next one. It's gonna be like the back to school meet. Mm-hmm. Um we get a whole bunch of guys together. It's a family fun environment. We got people coming hours driving away. Guys and girls. Guys, guys, girls, kids. We do raffles at the end. We open up our shop. We have food trucks and very good food trucks. We even have our new uh, merchandise, um, Acura Honda Classic. We still have a few this is the original still, one. We still have a few of these. Yeah. So. I really love the new shirts. Um, yeah, this is really good quality shirts. Yeah, this is really this good. Is really good quality shirts. Yeah, the guys really, you know, work hard, and and we're all doing it for us. You know, everything that is is brought into Acura Honda Classic is put back into how can we get more people to have fun and and, and this your uh, yeah the whole event the experience is for you. everyone. Yeah. Let, you me, let me put on you can email Acura Honda Classic DM yeah. You got one, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got them all around the world. Yeah, right muscles, so Some people look there. better oh. in shirts and others. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, also on the YouTube page, <laughs> we're getting videos up. The ITR project, if you like following and seeing the build and everything. There's going to be a lot of progress. There's, we got the videos already. They're coming out. The progress is moving faster than ever now. The hood just got painted today. A lot of the things that are already done. It's just got to put it together. So if you need to go ahead, Acura Honda Classic, and just subscribe to it on the YouTube page. 
because you're going to start to see the build, and that's what we're all about. We're more than just a group of guys chatting. We actually like to work too. Yeah. You know. So. I haven't heard Mike's voice though. Mike, I mean, he's still uh, there. Right. Say Mike. <laughs> That's Perfect. Right. You know, you would think Drew's over here today. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but what yeah. we got here, man? Tell me about before we head out. What's all this in front of me? So what we have right here is uh, a JDM Type R. Uh, I think what a two thousand spec, uh, four to one, two and a half inch collector header. Well, nice. that's the same thing as the USDM, the four to one, huh? No, USDM no. never came like that. They came four two to one. Or to with a, okay. a smaller collector. Okay. That's right. only on the JDM model. And it is we just have this? Or is this going on well, this car? maybe, you know, something that needs to get a little fixed up, and we'll see where it ends up going in the long run. That? I would probably check some of our videos in the fruit future to see what's going oh, on. Okay. Right. Right. Is that, that shiny thing over there? Yeah, that's a uh, nice Mugen twin loop uh, Mugen. roller. Mu Mugen. I don't know about Mugen. nice, but, you know, it, it is there. And um, that is what it looks like. You know, it's a pretty neat design. Yeah. You're getting rarer. I like it. And then right here, we oh, have uh, some stuff for our raffle. Okay, so yeah. Don't forget, every meet we have, we raffle. We raffle and must rough out, raffled off 30 items last time. It's going to be raffled. From too. BMS Low Nuts. Uh, from, no, I don't think, think that so. is. From uh, <laughs> Google Accessories to these cool model cars, if you're crafty, you know. Um, oh, that's easy. That's easy. a little hard. Easy. If you win one, we would love to see you guys assemble it and bring it in so we can show Or at least put some pictures yeah, up. Put some pictures, it. tag yeah. us, and, and, and everything you do, tag Acura Honda Classic. If you're working on your car, tag yeah. Acura Honda Classic. That's what it is. You know, we've gotten so many guys at the dealership that have become passionate once again mm -hmm. about Acuras and Hondas bringing just because back. of this movement. Yeah. And bringing it back and just getting into it. And that's what we really love. You know, that's what it's all about. What's our thing? Rebuilding the community. Rebuilding right? the community. That's our slogan, yeah. yeah. Rebuilding and putting it back. So, um, just just remember August 11th, uh, we have two cars that we're going to be unveiling. Okay, um, it'll be a certain time. We're going to have some sort of cover over them. Maybe a fog machine. I don't know. <laughs> Possibly a strobe light. I gotta tell you. Oh man! I was doing disco ball. Oh man! I know one of the cars is. I know one of the cars is beautiful. Absolutely. It's ready. Beautiful. Ready. We've been seeing it, and every time I see it, it's like for the first time again. Yeah. Amazing. 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 It's going to be a treat. Yeah. Make sure you're here for yeah. that. Yeah. So, two cars. Don't forget about that. Man, we got a lot of stuff going I'm on. How about the second one? Second the other one is definitely, I think it's a, uh, it's a, it's a la labor of passion. 85%? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, 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 we're, we're, we're getting there. So, yeah. The um, NSX and, and Integra. So, Ooh. Oh, that must be yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, listen. Appreciate the time. NSX, John. Again, yes. The meet where? August 11th, Acura of Pembroke Pines. Oh. Thank you. 8 to 11.30. 8 to 11.30. Yes. We're going to register. Be, yeah, register. Don't forget all that. Five. Uh, we're going to go see John at the front. And we're going to go with the same thing we did last time. $5. It's going to get you a raffle ticket. That's And remember, that money just goes right back into it. All right? Five dollars which is raffle ticket. You can buy additional raffle tickets. We saw people that bought additional raffle tickets more than one. All right. So you'll see John at the front. Uh, we're not sure what we're gonna show him in the showroom, but we will Once let again, you know. Thank you for John. John, John. Well, appreciate yeah, you, man. PS, yes, say something. Something. Uh, something. <laughs> we have John and I'm Dre. John. Yeah. Yeah. Next Thursday night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.